Hi, my name is Cassie and I'm typically the one behind the camera. However, this time I'm here to show how easy it is to get started with these new SparkFun data logger kits. And the reason I'm here is because I don't know how to code. Not a clue, but I'm pretty good at following directions and these are meant to plug and play. First, you need to set up your data logger board, which we have a handy dandy video here where Lauren walks you through just how to do that. Again, just follow the directions and you should get it running on AWS. Once you do that, you can just start taking boards and plugging them in, right? Sort of. Yeah, well, sort of, we'll go through it. But my favorite part is picking out which kit is best for your next project. We have the environmental, the GPS, the RFID, and the distance sensor. Let's start with environmental. All right, so I have my terminal open and my AWS tab up. Basically, we're gonna go straight from where you should have ended in the last video that Lauren helps you put all this together. The three sensors that come in the kit are the quick temperature, the ambient light sensor, and the air quality sensor. So we're gonna hook these up into the data logger. And the kit also comes with a bunch of quick cables, so you can just daisy chain them together and hook it all up. We're gonna plug it right into our data logger and reset the board. So after we do that, we should see it all going on here, connecting to Wi-Fi. We use the terminal and the walkthrough guide to set everything up and configure the settings and the AWS connection with the data logger. I don't really use the terminal often or really ever because I don't know how to code, but the data logger does have a user-friendly interface in the terminal, so it's not as daunting. Oh, there it goes. Everything's connecting. Cool. And then on here, we should be able to see it. And there it is. Temperature. We have all the environmental stuff. We have ambient light and all of the things. So it gets your data pretty darn quickly. And that's pretty cool just to connect all the boards, reset it, and basically have all the information right in front of you. Next is a GPS kit, and it includes the U-Block SAM M10Q board. And with a little quick cable, we're gonna hook it right into the data logger and hit the reset button. With that, you'll see the terminal going as it does. And it's got a lot of information coming in. Okay, so shadow updated. And so we are currently inside. It cannot connect to a satellite. So we're not gonna really get any valid information. If you go outside and you set this all up how you should, you should get all this information to be more correct. Um, I think this year and month and date is when it was created or when it was last connected or anything along those lines. It is inaccurate go outside, make it connect to a satellite. It should be just fine once you do that. But while we're in the studio, it is gonna have a lot of zeros for the information. But it is pretty cool that it has a ton of information on here from this one little board. Next is the RFID kit. So it has a dynamic RFID tag with a quick cable. And we're gonna do like we always do, hook it up, hit reset, and once it all connects, you can see, there it is, connected devices, dynamic RFID tag. And last is the quick distance sensor. This one is the VL53L1X. This really rolls off the tongue. We're gonna connect this one up to the data logger and then see what it does. And hit reset, this tiny little button. And there it goes, connecting to Wi-Fi. All right, it connected. Everything's coming through. You can see the connected devices, the distance sensor. And since it's a distance sensor, we should get some distance reported. Okay, oh, there it is. So we have some distance right here, range status signal rate. I'm gonna put my hand over the sensor. Oh, and it changes. Whoa, it's giving me the data I am looking for. Taking my hand off, it's gonna update. Takes a few seconds to update. And there it is. Good stuff. So there you have it. Plug and play kits for your data logger board to harness all of these awesome features for your next project. You can pick up yours over on our website and let us know what you think. But until then, happy following directions. Most of my bloopers are usually just like straight profanity when I do these. <laughs> so it's like, I usually never have bloopers at the end of my videos. <laughs> it's that time, whoa, I must, I must do this out of my hand. It's that cater to all of your project needs. Cater, I hate that word. Tech support. Tech support, help. <laughs> okay, so. It's doing stuff. Whoa. Okay, okay, all right. Logging data, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, it logs data. Slave. Yeah. Yes.
All right, I'll take it.